I have a very special and exciting episode for you today, and it's all about using Instagram to grow your business. Now, if you're anything like me in the beginning of learning about Instagram, I was really annoyed with Instagram. I didn't love it. I was like, oh my goodness, I have to learn something else. I've just hardly figured out the Facebook thing, and now I've gotta learn this Instagram thing, and I really just thought it was for kids. But as the years went on, I saw slowly dove in and I paid attention to this marketing platform beast. And now it's actually one of my favorite platforms to frequent and I can't tell you how many things I've actually purchased from people on Instagram. So I think it is very important and something that you should pay very particular close attention to if you have products, services, or a business that you are selling. So stay tuned. Welcome to episode 212. My name is Tanya and Liza, and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast, while most importantly, helping you to design a lifestyle that you love. If you're new here, consider subscribing and make sure that you have your notification bell set to on if you're watching on YouTube, because I release a brand new episode each and every week with a free resource that will help you grow your business and you don't want to miss out. Also, make sure to check the show notes below because I leave a bunch of awesome additional great resources, tips, and training for you that go with the episode topic that will also help you grow your business. Now, instead of being this pretend super know-it-all Instagram expert, which I am totally not, I wanted to bring out one of the best Instagram trainers that I know exists today. Now, what makes this individual one of the best Instagram trainers is she's focused on helping you to grow your business, not necessarily your following, because let's just face it, this is not a popularity contest. Would you rather 100,000 followers or $100,000 in your bank account, right? So this is why I believe Marina Simone, who happens to be one of my besties in marketing and in business, I go to her for anything that I need to know about Instagram. That's why I believe she is the absolute best. Now, I've asked her to come out on the show and bless us with her goodness for two reasons. Number one, I already study and I follow what she does because I know what she does works and she's walking the walk, not just talking the talk. The second reason is I really wanted to just pick her brain. And so I thought, hey, maybe if I give her exposure on the show, she'll give me some of her valuable, valuable time and help me in some of the questions that I wanted to ask her as well. So without further ado, I want to talk all things Instagram and growing your business using Instagram with my good friend, Marina Simone. She is a total lady boss in everything that she does. You're going to learn a little bit about her story today. And she is also the CEO and founder of the Moms and Heels community, which is probably one of the most fun mompreneur communities that I've ever had a chance to see. So let's get into this juicy value packed interview with Marina Simone. Okay, so I have Marina. Marina Simone here. I'm so excited. So Marina, I introed you and I'm so excited to have you on the show. Hopefully you know how excited I am. So I want to do this before we dive in to all of the juicy training that we have in store for my viewers today. I want to know, because we're going to be talking all about how to grow your business, how to grow your brand on Instagram, especially if you don't have any following right now, or maybe you have a small following, or maybe you're just getting started. I love the way you train, but I want to know before we dive into any of all of that, I want to know what is one of the biggest success stories that either you or one of your clients have had using Instagram? We've got to know to kick this off. You know, I think one of the biggest moments wasn't even just for me, but one of my clients when they had that big win, it was such a big deal because when something can duplicate for others, when they can win from something that you've personally, you know, done on a platform, especially on Instagram, it was just a big moment. So one of my clients in 30 days got 400 new leads from our hashtag strategy and she closed 
for her network marketing business, close to 5,000 in personal sales all in 30 days. And these were from the 400 leads that she had connected to just through hashtags on Instagram. So that's insane. Cause I know like we've been growing businesses online and building our brands online for many, many years. Yep. And 400 people who are interested or show some kind of interest in your business or your mm -hmm. products or whatever it is that you're doing, that is a huge, massive deal. I can't even tell you how long it took me to even get 400 cumulative altogether. It maybe took me an entire year. Yeah. I have no idea. So that is so crazy That's awesome. Insane. So so this is the power of, of your training and what it is that you do. Um, we've known each other for a few years now, and I I don't bring a lot of people on the show because I'm very I'm sensitive to that. Because I always want to make sure that the people that are teaching the thing that they're teaching, they're actually walking their talk, they're walking the walk. And I think that that's something that is very unique about you and the things that you do personally in your own brand and business, but also what you teach for other people to do. You're not teaching like the, the, the surface thing and then they have to like, you know, um, you're not really teaching them like the back, back stuff. Like you're really teaching them what you're doing. So yes. we've known each other for um, a, a while and you have this crazy, cool, awesome story. But I wanna know um, what, if somebody doesn't know like you at all, if they're meeting you for the very first time, I want them to know a little bit about you and how Instagram has influenced you and your world and your business. So could you share a little bit for the people that don't know yet who you are? Absolutely. So Marina Simone and I legit got introduced to network marketing back in 2012. And at the time I was a single mom and it was like an old friend from high school and I was excited because honestly, I saw this whole OMG, I can make this money. I can, you know, not have to live paycheck to paycheck. Um, but I'll be honest with you guys, this is when I, we were all building belly to belly. And so for two years, I failed horribly. Like I made no money. In fact, it was funny. Somebody had just posted on Facebook, what was the lowest check you ever got in network marketing? And it was negative 1200. Cause I think at one point I was paying for people to join me. Cause I thought if I paid for them to join me, then maybe they would do something. I don't know if you've ever been there, but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't suggest <laughs> doing that. Don't, um, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. It doesn't work. But for me, it was when I started to realize the power of social media and understand that even with Instagram, I could connect to random strangers easier than I could on Facebook because there was no that friend request thing going on. Um, my business completely changed. Within 90 days, after two years of failing, I was able to make a six-figure income. And that's not a claim, that's like truth, that's like facts. And it was exciting because people on Instagram didn't know my past, they didn't know my failures. They didn't know I was a single mom that could barely keep the lights on. They didn't know anything about my past. So it gave me the opportunity to posture up, have confidence and conversation and really just go through, use the system of exposure, the excite, the invite. And so through that, it allowed me also to be more myself and to share who I was and what the impact was that I wanted to make. What were my goals? What was my mission? Who did I want to work with? And Instagram allowed me to do that. Um, you know, at the end of the day, in the beginning, of course, it was just about making money for me. And now it's really about how many women can I take from the cubicle and put them on a throne? Because that was my story. I was stuck in a cubicle 60 hours a week. I missed my mm -hmm. daughter take her first steps. That was a horrible moment as a mom for me. And now knowing what this industry has done, knowing how Instagram has helped really f like create a foundation for my business, but also be like this huge lead capture for it. I want to help more moms do the same thing. So I, I love that because you were very, you're very specific with your tribe and with your niche and who you serve and who you help. And I love that. And I, I know that our tribes are a little bit different. They're similar, but they're different. But the way that you teach also um, can help so many other businesses as well. Anybody growing a brand or, or anything on Instagram. There's a lot of Instagram trainers that are out there that'll teach you to have like 
Instagram fame and sure like and you've met them right like tons of people with great huge massive followings and nothing to show monetarily for that so I love the fact that you're you've coupled like okay let's get you on Instagram but let's get you on Instagram in a purpose-driven way to actually drive sales drive customers drive business Um, and then you're not only like I said you're not only teaching it you're actually doing it for yourself so that's really cool so I have a question and this is like selfishly for me a little bit because I when I first was introduced to Instagram I actually didn't know Instagram has been out for longer than I even knew it had been out for I was like oh Instagram's new but it's it's not new it's just (laughs) I was new to it it feels new though (laughs) yes and I'm like oh Instagram like I'm talking to this other millennial I'm like oh Instagram's been out that long and she's like what's Facebook and I'm like what's Instagram so we had this little battle yeah so when I was first introduced to Instagram I was like another thing that we have to learn like why Instagram like I hate Instagram and now actually I'm finding that I actually really enjoy Instagram sometimes I prefer the Instagram platform because it's less overwhelming than on Facebook for me personally yep I don't know if anybody else feels that way but like as a business why Instagram like can't we just stay on Facebook and just do our thing on Facebook like why do we have to look at Instagram as a as a business nowadays well first off it's just smart business to not put all your eggs in one basket on one platform and I'll just give you an example um, somebody decided to spam my Facebook account and I lost it for 72 hours and especially with we can't control we don't own these platforms right so if I had just had Facebook for my brand and for my network marketing business, for three days my business would have probably been shut off. But because I had Instagram, I was able to just continue prospecting on that platform, continue showing up with value, be on the Instagram stories. So first and foremost, I'm gonna tell you to find ways to repurpose content, whether it's Instagram or some other platform, you need to have a backup plan and an email list, which I know Tanya, you teach. So if you need to <laughs> yeah. like, Tanya has plenty of trainings on the email list thing. But um, yeah. you know, it was just, that was a moment for me where I was like, whoa, thank God. Like I'm so grateful that I had the Instagram platform. And the other piece is Instagram, It's just, it's easier to, for me, let me say this, for me with hashtags, it's easier for me to find people like me. Where in Facebook, you have to really find Facebook groups where you can Mm. connect with people and people don't have a wall up as much on Instagram as they do on Facebook. So on Facebook, you have to have a friend request. Where on Instagram, Mm. it's like people have their accounts public and you can literally just you know, follow people or not follow people and still have conversation with them. And so it's almost like there's less of a guard up on Instagram, which allows people to be a little bit more open, which means they're going to be more open to listening to you, to maybe being open to hearing about your opportunities. So I would say if you do nothing else on Instagram, if you can really, and I think we're going to talk about this, but really learn how to connect with people through hashtags, you can have those 400 leads too in your pocket. (laughs) Yeah. I'm actually really glad that you said that. And that was actually a huge tip I just learned from you. Like you can actually find people with whatever interest or brand that they're attached to versus going to groups. Yeah, of course. Like I never even thought of that before. That's huge. And I remember, so I remember you guys like, and this, this falls true. Like I was looking for a new hairstylist in my local area and I actually found them from Instagram. And how I found them from Instagram is I searched the hashtag um, blonde hair Wilmington, North Carolina, like Wilmington NC. And then all these profiles came up and I could go look at their portfolios, of course, perfect. And then I, you know, connected with a few of them and I'm like, Hey, are you taking on new clients? So imagine if you were in a company that had like a hair care system or something, and you could go find like local hair stylist to connect personally with, OMG, this is great. It's a whole it's a whole nother world of people that have followers. And and I gotta be honest, you know, sometimes you can get intimidated by looking at someone with thousands of followers and you're like, Oh, I can't reach out Mm -hmm. to them. Most people that are on Instagram are not monetizing or making money from their followings. They're just not. 
So don't put yourself in a position where you're like, well, I'm not an influencer. I don't have thousands or millions of followers. People aren't going to want to talk to me and they do. So it's not like that. People that are on Instagram, especially as influencers, are looking for opportunities to bring products to post about, right? To talk about products that they can make money from. I love it. No, you're you're 100% right. I teach the same thing. It's like I had an episode a while back where I taught influencer marketing and how to connect with influencers. Mm. It's not about oh, wow. it's you. Wow. Yeah, yes. it's not about you. It's about how to start the conversation and actually how to touch the hot points of what it is that they're interested in. Mm. Cuz you guys all these people that are on Instagram, they're on Instagram for a reason. And a lot of people come to Instagram or even like YouTube and they're like I want to be an Instagram you know, famous influencer and they think they're going to make a million dollars, you know, coming on, but they don't have the plan and they have the, and then they go out there, they do a fabulous job and they have all these eyeballs. And then they have all these eyeballs that are perfect for your product, service, or business. And they're so open to an opportunity because they're already doing half of the work, right? And so this is something I know that you're really, really good at. Um, I know that you have something for my audience that you put together before we share what that is because you guys know like on every episode of Tanya Liza TV, we give away for something for free that goes with the episode to help you guys crush it in your business. So Marina was coming on and I was like, you guys, we need, Marina, we need to give my audience something for free. So she did put something cool together for you. But I want to know first because you were saying this will lead in perfectly to what you were saying that people are not learning how to monetize properly on Instagram. But what about like our target audience, like entrepreneurs, network marketers, they're coming onto Instagram. What are they doing wrong that you see and how can they stop doing that and maybe reframe and do these things right? Like a couple things that you see to help our fellow new Instagrammers or maybe even seasoned Instagrammers out there. So let's just talk about the hashtag. So most most network marketers are using hashtags that other network marketers would use or other people that are selling products would use. So for example, if you're doing a post about, let's just say weight loss and you're using weight loss journey, most likely everyone using that hashtag weight loss journey are selling something. So you're not going to hit someone that is looking for weight loss. Instead, you should think about who are the types of people that want weight loss. So I just had a mm -hmm. baby, right? Well, a year ago, but I like to say I just had a baby because <laughs> it sounds better. So I use postpartum hashtags because why? The type of people, the women that wanna lose weight right now are the postpartum mamas. Mm -hmm. So I will go and use postpartum hashtags or just had like there's, um, newborn hashtags or there's target newborn hashtags like what are the types of hashtags that the type of person would search or use so if someone just had a baby they're probably looking for newborn outfits or they're looking for what are some you know ways to help the baby stop with acid reflux like you've got to dig in deep and think about what are the hashtags that, that people that want to use your products or need your products, what would they be searching or using? And so that was a big aha moment for me because I was using laptop lifestyle. I was using uh, network marketing leader. I was using like all these hashtags and so were the same people that were just like me. Like, how am I going to recruit from that? So I actually love recruiting people that have never heard of network marketing before and how do I find them? They're moms for me, they're mm -hmm. moms who just had babies and they wanna lose weight or they're just moms who, you know, maybe wanna, you know, use a certain type of makeup or need skincare because they have acne because they just had babies and, you know, postpartum sucks, <laughs> right? So get really specific and spend some time writing those hashtags down because not only can you use them in your post, you can go and look for people that are liking and commenting on those hashtags. That's the big key. Totally. So I love that because I think I'm probably using my hashtags all wrong. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, it's okay if we're welcome, using the wrong, welcome. we can just go in. And so for those, I get this question all the time whenever I talk about Instagram, what the heck are hashtags? So how do you explain hashtags to people? So think about when you go to Google, like you're just typing in like how to, or even with Pinterest, right? how to make a cake. I don't do that because I don't bake, but like how to, you know, fold a sheet. I don't know. There's, there's things that people are searching on Google, on YouTube. 
And so instead of people searching on Instagram for how to, they're gonna search hashtags for clothing, makeup, hair, right? Local hair, local nails, local beauty, um, beauty tips, makeup tutorials, weight loss tutorials. Like that's what people are searching for. So what's really cool about Instagram is that when you go and search a hashtag, they're gonna tell you hashtags that are related to that hashtag, meaning the same type of people that are using this hashtag are also searching for or using this hashtag. So that's really awesome because then it's like, oh, boom. If this is target moms, target moms, which is a great hashtag for moms, right? They're also using these, or these are also related or similar. So you wanna look at those. Do not use a hashtag that has more than 100,000 followers. Why? Because if your account isn't massive, meaning like you're not getting 500 or more likes on a post, you're probably not gonna rank when you use those hashtags, meaning you're not gonna be seen. So you wanna find very niche hashtags that people that are searching or following those, they'll see you more often. Because guess what happens? People follow hashtags, and then when they follow them, it ends up in their newsfeed, and so you'll be front and center. So you wanna find smaller numbers, not bigger. It's not about more. It's about niching it down or getting very specific so then you can connect to people that are just like you. Oh, I love that. Okay, so that's a good that's a good baseline. So don't follow or don't use hashtags that are over a hundred thousand that have over a hundred thousand followers, so that you have chances to be more visible. I like that. So when you type in the search and you go to search the hashtag, and I encourage everybody to like test this on their phones and their apps. Like go to search on on Instagram and do hashtag and you know target mom or whatever and start looking at what Marina's talking about, how it works. So beside that, does it show how many followers there are then? Yep. Okay, so it'll show, yep. right now Instagram shows that, so that'll be good. And then um, I love that you, in your trainings, you also like have little, you know, hashtag groups that you teach people how to like yes. put together. And we've learned a lot from that, so that's really cool. So I want you to talk about um, the free thing that you put together. We'll keep, I've got so many more questions for you, but everybody knows if they tune in each week um, that we like to put together a free resource for people who tune in that go with the episode. So I said, Marina, what could we put together for free for my audience that could be super value packed if they really want to dive in deeper and learn how to use Instagram to help them grow their brand and grow their business more importantly. So what did we put together for them? So I figured instead of just having like a PDF or something, why don't I open my phone and show you exactly how I prospect on Instagram? And so I put together a recording of me on Instagram doing my famous 333 method, how I compliment and connect, how I search through hashtags. So there's no questions. Like it's like a tutorial of me prospecting live with you. <laughs> Yes. yes. Okay. People are going to blow up about yes. this. I'm so excited. So thank you so much for like putting that together You're for so my welcome. audience and for, for us as well, because my team and I study good trainers. So the place where you can actually request access to this behind the scenes of Marina showing you into her Instagram and her three, three, three method. And by the way, what did this do? This doubled your DMs. Yes in in 72 hours yes. like and direct messages like people reaching out um, to me. saying hey i'm interested tell yes. me more right yes. so this is so cool so i want i want people to be able to go and get this um, free training while we have it up so we'll leave a link in the description area of where you're watching this video or you can go directly to tanyaeliza.com forward slash 212 because we are on our 212 episodes, pretty crazy. Um, and if you're already on the blog watching this episode, there'll be a big yellow button right below the video where you can click and you you can request access from Marina. Um, and thank you so much for putting this training together for my audience. I'm so excited about it. 
I know whatever you do is value packed and people can take it immediately and go and implement it. Even today from this episode, we've already dropped like three things that they can take and immediately go and implement, right? So I have a Facebook group and all of you guys probably know about it. It's called the B Lab, which stands for build like a boss. Um, it's my private community in there. And I went in there and I said, hey guys, if we were to do this kick ass Instagram training, what would you guys want to learn and know? And so I always like to listen to my peeps and give them what they want. And I thought, okay, I'm bringing Marina, the goddess of Instagram out to talk about Instagram. <laughs> so this, let's see. So basically um, a couple of people had some really good questions. So the common questions that came up is how do you build your following? Um, and I want to, preface this because if you're asking how do you build your following i want you to change that because it's not about a popularity contest on social media it's about how many sales are you actually making and the impact that you're having with your business your products or services so change that because would you rather like a hundred thousand followers and like two dollars a month in your bank account or would you rather like 5,000 followers and be making like $10,000 a month, right? So we just need to change that question to, okay, how many, like, how do we grow our sales and grow our profits? Um, so we already answered the one, like, how do you use hashtags? But what would you say if somebody could go today and do one little thing on Instagram after this episode, if they were to go on, even if they have like, no following, no influence, nothing. What one thing, what's one thing that they could do to grow like their sales and their profits today, or at least be on the road to doing that as a business? Yeah. So I love that you brought that up, by the way. I think it's so important that people understand you don't have to have thousands of followers to make money from Instagram. You don't have to be an influencer. In fact, when I was making six figures, nobody even knew who I was on Instagram. So let's be clear, I had less than 5,000 followers. So if you can create conversation with your content and with your Instagram stories, conversation leads to sales. It's literally that easy. So inside that free training that I give you guys, I show you how I create conversation by complimenting and connecting. And sometimes I think we take for granted just the simple compliment of someone to start mm -hmm. a conversation. And I learned that because I was like, you know, people are on social media thinking they have to have this big following and they're not getting attention. So what if you give these people attention? Mm -hmm. Amen. People are searching for that. They're, they're yearning for that. As people, we, we want connection. So if you can learn anything from that free training I give you, learn how to compliment and connect with these humans through hashtags or through stories or whatever I show you and your following will grow over time. But again, I shared at, at a training before that a woman came to me, she had 1.2 million followers. <laughs> and when I asked her, how much money do you make? She said, zero dollars. Wow. <laughs> Yes, she's a client of mine now, but let's just be clear. Like <laughs> we don't want more. We want to be able to convert sales and creating conversation is the fastest way to do that. Yeah, I have the, I love that you said that because I have this um, uh, like business coach who I very much look up to. His name's George Bryant and he has a slogan that he's brought into his brand. And the slogan is relationships over algorithms. And I absolutely love it because Everyone's like, how do we hack the algorithm and make this like platform work for us? And it's like, no, 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 no. Like the algorithm's forever gonna change and that's not where your money comes from. Your money comes from people. So how do you actually get into conversation and help find out what it is that they need and want and then deliver that? So I love that you said that because it's super true. So um, a couple more things. Like I want, if you could, so people are, starting to really get, especially me, like I'm starting to do more of these Instagram stories, right? Mm -hmm. I love Instagram stories because I, 
I think it's a great way for somebody to see behind the scenes of you as a person to yes. build trust and likability with your audience because people are going to connect and converse and buy from people they know, like, and trust. So it's a really great way to let people in on your life. You are fantastic at these stories. I'm always laughing Thank because you. your behind the scenes <laughs> is just so fun and real, right? You don't have to be like, it polished on these things. Stories are where yeah. you want to get real. Yeah, and... I do not look like this on my Instagram stories. <laughs> is the point of the story. There. Well, thank you so much for dressing up for today, our interview. You're, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, and I better be going for dinner or something later tonight yeah, because know, I'm dressed right? up. But yeah, um, but yeah, so people are are trying to figure out like how do we get this story thing to work and what's the balance between posting personally and then posting for business. So if you could do me a huge favor and just give me like from start to finish in your day, like how many story posts would you do or do you just, do you suggest somebody does when they're just getting started? And what could they post to stir up conversation for business? Like give them a little action step here and and then I might I'm going to copy it later and do it too. <laughs> I'm going to. Yeah, you should totally copy it later. So so one of the things I think we overthink is how do we share what we're selling? And I, and I, I want to help you create conversation through your stories first with nothing you're selling. So first off, try to post every hour okay. if you can and max 10, even though sometimes I don't follow my own advice. But what happens is, is when you're posting every hour, it's going to keep you up in the feed in front of everyone, right? So so people can see like your circle and they're like, oh, there's a new story and they'll click there, right? So that's number one, 10. Sometimes you'll have more than that, that's fine, but you don't wanna have like beep, 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 where it's like 5,000 stories, where you're just like taking pictures of the world. Like you have to have a purpose with your story sometimes, right? So I call it a story sequence. So for example, um, I shared this at one of my trainings, but when my daughter, Madeline, was a newborn, um, she literally, you know, had these little nails and I was terrified of cutting them and making her bleed, right? Like terrified. So I knew that there were other new moms following me or watching me or moms that have seen it before. So what did I do? I shared in 15 second clips a new tool that actually grinded her nails down and boom, no blood and I felt like a super mom. So there was probably like three or four like snaps of it and then I just shared where they could buy it. Now, I didn't make money off of it, nothing. I told them to go to Amazon, whatever. But at the end of the day, what did I do? I shared value to my target audience and I just shared what worked. Do you know I created literally anywhere from, it was like hmm, seven to 10 new conversations with people and three people ended up joining my business later down the road. Why? Because they felt like they were in on my life. They felt like they could connect to me. So sometimes you're overthinking. So I want you to think and write down right now, what is something that you use or a hack that you have or something that you can share of value to your audience? Maybe it's how to fold a fitted sheet. Maybe it's how to take off your nails or maybe it's how to do your eyebrows. I don't know, something. Can you share something of value and share a product that you don't make money off of? Think about something that you can share and then how to use it and then the result that it gave you and then where they can get it. Now take that same strategy and do that with your product or your service but then show before and afters or show testimonials or show social yeah, proof, that. so screenshots. One of the biggest things that get me more sales, more coaching clients, anything, is the social proof and not mm. me typing out what they've said, but actually screenshotting a conversation we had, screenshotting a post in a Facebook group, screenshotting a text message they sent me or in a Voxer chat and sharing that and then asking a question at the end. So what we're doing here is we're creating conversation, we're showing social proof that it works, and then we're asking a question so we can get them to engage with us. So we call that a story sequence, and they work so well. And if you're doing more of sharing stuff you don't make money off of, then once a week when you do share something that you make money off of or your product or your service, people are more likely to ask questions because they loved the value you gave, you know, for the last four days. So I, I totally, I love that. That's very actionable, 
And so I know that there's gonna be a lot of people like me right now. Okay, so you do this story and how do you get, like let's say for example with Madeline's nail grinder that you were using, how did some of those conversations come in? Did somebody just type in the, the private message to you, oh wow, that's really awesome or that's really cool or where do you get that? Like how did you engage, okay, and then, so they're, they're sending those kinds of messages. So how do you get that message to, what are a couple questions maybe you're asking them to, to get them to uh, move into like a business presentation or an opportunity? Because that, that would be interesting to know. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask like, how old's your baby? Oh my gosh, right? And then we'll just start conversation. Then I'm going to go to their profile and I'm going to see the like the last six posts of what they post and I'm going to do some market research on them. Who are they? What do they love to do? Whatever. And then after complimenting and connecting with them for three days, I will rip off the bandaid and ask if they're open to taking a look at what I do. It's literally that simple. So you just compliment them and say, hey, listen, mm -hmm. like I've got to ask because we've been chatting a little bit. I think you're super cool. You've got a crazy awesome Instagram profile. I would love the opportunity yep. to possibly work with you. Would you be open to seeing what that looks like? Is that kind of like the conversation? Exactly. I love yep. it. Exactly. And you guys, it's that simple. They've already, we're already having a conversation. And they got value from kids. you. They got value from yeah. me. Why not? And then even if they say no or they ignore you, you know they're stalking your profile. Yeah. And it might not be today, but it could be tomorrow nope. or next week or exactly. whenever. Okay, I love that. And then you obviously mm -hmm. you're staying consistent with your posting and yes. letting people in on your life and you know, kind of, you know, dangling the carrot a little bit. Cause we're all mm -hmm. in whatever we're selling, it doesn't matter what we're selling, right? Or what businesses we're building, whatever it is. We're all selling an enhancement of lifestyle of some sorts, right? Exactly. So yes, we give exactly. that out on Instagram, right? So I wanna get into a rapid fire with you because I love doing this with all of my guests. But before we do that, you guys, I really, really wanna make sure that you do take advantage of the freebie that we put together for you. Marina is taking you behind the scenes into her Instagram account and what she does. And honestly, you guys, it's simple. Anybody can do it. Um, it's easy enough. And so I really hope that you guys go and you register for that free training and you definitely take advantage of the things that she teaches in there. So make sure to head over to tanyaeliza.com forward slash 212 and if you're already on my blog there'll be a big yellow button right below this video click it and you can request access for free to this instagram uh, training that marina has for us which i'm sure that you guys will enjoy and all i ask is that you guys leave us a comment and let me know how you love the instagram training and how it specifically helped you in your business because that is the greatest compliment that we can have as trainers is to you guys going out there and implementing and then sharing with us what how it's impacted you in whatever way so please do that okay so marina are you ready for rapid fire okay i got my rapid fire questions here are you ready i'm ready let's okay do this. so what is your favorite food we gotta know um chocolate <laughs> is that a food <laughs> yes it know. is today it is today <laughs> it is today <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve in life oh people say they're going to do something and they don't. <sighs> Drives me bonkers. That's mine too. That's mine too. Yeah. That's totally mine too. Okay. Favorite yes. type of music? Mm, ghetto South over here. So I like rap and hip hop. Oh, <laughs> little ghetto. I love it. We got little ghetto and Farina. Yeah. I, I've seen you ghetto. dance to rap and hip hop and girl, you got moves. Oh, fun I fact. I just go into another, it's another, I just go into like another world whenever I hear kind of music to dance. So you used to be an actual professional like dancer. So you guys, Marina will kick your butt on a dance floor if you ever get dancing with her. You just watch. <laughs> true story, true story. Well, I'm getting older now. We'll see how much I yeah. can break it down. We need a different <laughs> career path. If you were stranded on an island and you can only bring three things, people not included, what would they, what would they be? Um, can I bring my phone? Yeah, I don't know if you'd have cell um, service. Definitely. Would you bring a cell tower with you? <laughs> well, well, no, we still gotta take pictures oh, and yes. stuff just in case. We've got a document. picture. I'm still document. bringing the phone. Yes. Document, we're gonna document the journey. So I would definitely bring a phone. 
Um, I would definitely bring um, a bathing suit. Hello, I don't want to be naked. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and then I would bring. Oh my gosh, what was the other thing I had him? I would probably just bring like a bunch of books mm -hmm. to read over and over again. Yeah, I mean, tan. Yeah. Well, no, I'd bring a knife. Hold that thought. A knife. I'd bring a knife. A knife. Get rid of the books. I'd bring a knife. <laughs> you gotta eat. <laughs> I gotta eat. I bring the knife. Bring a knife. I got a knife. Okay. There what we go. is That's your enough. most embarrassing moment in life that you can think of or remember? Um, oh gosh, I actually have a lot of those, but I think the most embarrassing, and this is going to sound so ridiculous, but this is just me getting in my own head. And I think somebody could actually relate to this, but Valentine's day, when I was 16, I was playing softball and I had this guy that I liked that was like in the stands watching me and my dad was there and I slid into home plate cause I stole the base. And I slid wrong and I ended up breaking my ankle in three places. And it was so loud that everybody heard it. Even like the guys that were playing baseball all the way in the other place, they heard how loud it was because the catcher landed on it. And, but I was mortified because I was crying hysterically. <laughs> and the guy that I liked was there. And then my dad had to come run on the field, pick me up and like rush me to the hospital. And of course, you now looking back on like whatever, I was so mortified in that moment because I didn't perform great. Like I broke my ankle when I was, but I was safe, so that's cool. Did the guy, safe, did the guy at least come swooping in and be like any kind of safe? Yeah, he brought me roses oh. and stuff, totally, but I was mortified, they I was so embarrassed. <laughs> that was the best moment for him because he could be your savior, but you were mortified. Yeah, totally. I was so embarrassed. And we got to know what is your biggest business accomplishment so far that you can think of. You know, I think it, it used to be about like, oh my gosh, this month I made more money. This month I made more money. So I'm like super grateful. Like hitting seven figures was awesome. However, now looking back, like being able to have my own first event and having my tribe that actually wants to be there to support me and how much fun like we're making it. For me, this is always something I wanted to do. So this is that, in this moment, in this season for me, this is the biggest accomplishment is having my first live person event. Oh, well, I'm so excited for you because they are you. really the best thing that you can ever do in your business because you're getting right in front of your people yes. live so and everybody sees you on the stories and on the, but this is a way to like take that to a whole new level and completely connect. So I'm so proud of you. You have totally crushed thank it you. in well, life. You had a big part of that. So thank you. I appreciate oh, you. You were amazing. Yeah. I mean, we can only do so much, but you know, you, you put in all the hard work, right? Especially with your clients. It's like, you can only show them so much and it's up to them to do the work. So you've done That's the right. work. You've earned every little bit of it. And thank you for thank you. squeezing out some time and blessing my audience with a great training to introduce Instagram to help them grow their business and then also to take it even further. I love the free training that you put together for my people. So please guys go make sure to get registered for that training. It's free. It's up right now. It's special for all of us. And so thank you, Marina, for putting that together. Um, you guys, if you did find value in today's episode, make sure to let us know in the comment section below. I'll also leave in the show notes below, I'll leave ways where you can connect with Marina. You can follow her on Instagram. You can see what she's doing. Maybe you have a boss mom tribe and you want to kind of get connected with her and her world as well. She's absolutely amazing. I recommend that you do. Um, and uh, let us know in the comment section below if you're using Instagram. Yes. And if you're not yet, put maybe not yet, but maybe tell us how excited you are now to start using Instagram to help you grow your business. If you did find a ton of value and you know anybody else that could find value in this training as well, please smash the share button, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, get it out to your teams and your people. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.